Well, Lars and Jens Rasmussen were really the geniuses behind uh, this work. Uh, Jens had an idea which Lars uh, eventually bought into, uh -huh. and both of them lead a great team of engineers that made that vision really happen. Uh, and I think you, you, heard, you heard him describe mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But innovation happens like that. You know, it happens because somebody has a crazy idea, gets a few people to believe in it, and then through incredible engineering, makes that dream happen. You know, the amount of obstacles that they had to solve was, mm -hmm. was pretty huge. Like with maps, they mm -hmm. did what someone had n not done before in a browser. And I think what you saw today was not only interesting and creative ideas, but the fact that they were implemented on the web platform was even more surprising. And uh, you know, we're very, very lucky to have that kind of creative, innovative mm -hmm. uh, engineers. It started two years ago, as I understood, and uh, how did it come? It last came to you and say, okay, we should integrate everything on a, on a platform, open, open platform like this? Uh, no, at Google, great ideas like that, uh, Larry and Sergey sponsor, mm -hmm. and they, they allow those ideas to kind of go mm -hmm. up into a point where we have about five or six engineers on it. And then Larry and Sergey made the decision to go big, mm -hmm. go beyond five or six mm -hmm. engineers. Um, and that was some time ago. And I think what you saw today was the unveil. Yeah, then all the, the management gave the support to yeah, let absolutely. them to go into absolutely. that uh, that uh, direction. Absolutely. And, uh, and even even, yeah. even though we even though it wasn't clear uh, in its early days how successful it would be, yeah. where it would lead to, uh, but you can't schedule innovation. Yeah. You know, you got to let passionate engineers go pursue their ideas, mm -hmm. and uh, that's how you end up with a few of these amazing successes. And I think, as you saw by the mm -hmm. audience's reaction. Yeah. Um, All the people were, were, were very excited, but the people who were behind the project were very uh, happy, it seems, that they were glad to have, have, have had the opportunity to, to go in that direction, build up something. And, yes, uh, yes. That's, that's also one of the secrets of today. Absolutely. Uh, Google, well, you uh, can imagine how hard that team has worked for years in secrecy. Well, that was a project mm -hmm. we had never discussed publicly. Okay. And then for, the, for us to unveil it, you can imagine how they feel to see people's reaction. Yeah. It's just, it's absolutely tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's great to see the, the positive reaction, particularly from this audience. This audience is a developer audience, it's the technical audience. Yeah, sure. And so I think the technical audience also understands that the, the breakthroughs that are required to, to make happen what, what was being shown on the screen. And I think a lot of the applause was, was about the magic of mm -hmm. software mm -hmm. that enabled that. Last question, where, where can Google go beyond, <laughs> beyond? after that? Uh, we have the feeling that uh, you can go, uh, uh, can you go somewhere else after, oh. uh, after that? And, uh, there are so many problems, that, uh, there are so many uh, problems we have yet to solve. Uh -huh. We are just at the beginning. Uh -huh. um, in fact, many of the, uh, the, the best products that Google will make, we haven't even thought of yet. Uh -huh. um, you know, this internet, you know, connected devices, people being perpetually connected, uh, the kind of new communication, the kind of new social apps, the kind of new kinds of search that we can go build, when you combine that with voice recognition, translation, uh, we really are at the early days of bringing the world together on the web mm -hmm. and connecting in a way that I don't even think we've quite figured out yet. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem.